There was a little bit of other <laughs> Cubs news over the weekend as the Cubs corporate stooge Crane Kenny. Oh God! Crawled Jesus. out of whatever hole he's been living in to get on Chicago media, which again he he's the most heard from uh, sports business president of operations that you'll ever hear. No fucking uh, shit, man. He did have some breaking news Saturday morning on. 670 the scores inside the clubhouse with Bruce Levine. Uh, there's breaking news about the marquee network. It is actually going to be available by the end of July as a standalone streaming product to fans oh, in, yeah. in the market. In the Chicago market, fans who have cut the cord do not have to have a cable subscription of any kind uh, to watch the Cubs finally, which is a huge step. And it's something that you could see coming miles away. You know, when they first started the Marquee Network, it's it just made sense that eventually they were having so much trouble signing with Comcast or other local cable providers. Right. Signing deals with you know streaming services like YouTube TV and Hulu. Those those fell apart. They are still with Fubo Fubo TV. Yeah. I don't know. That's I don't one think, of the best ones for sports. That's that's how they marketed themselves. I looked into that a bit and I thought it looked like a pretty crappy interface but maybe maybe i i mean the interface may suck but like if you're it can be worse than hulu's but yeah if you wanted like local sports and and a decent amount of national coverage and soccer if that's what you're into um (laughs) that's the place for you well, you know, you don't even need that because you'll be able to just purchase the Marquee Network streaming service standalone by itself, direct to consumer. This is on the heels of both the Yankees and Red Sox, who already have their own networks and in-market streaming services. And the news there, I didn't realize this, um, it's a little disturbing because the Yankees charge 30 bucks a month for theirs and the Red Sox charge, I think, 25 bucks for theirs. Dang. So the the Cubs are definitely going to fall in that range. I'd be Holy shocked if it was more fuck. than the Yankees, but that's a lot. I mean, that's that's what I'm paying for MLB TV to see all the games, essentially, uh, besides my local Tigers. Yeah. Um, so that that's a that's a pricey commitment, I guess. You know what? The, those prices are are you know feasible in those markets already because people are willing to pay it. You know, that's what the market is bearing right now. So uh, I guess that's where the, the initial prices will come out for the marquee network. I don't know that they'll stay there if the, if the demand will be that high or if they'll just have to lower the prices to, to, you know, something a little more reasonable, but I mean, you can be get interesting Sunday, to see. You can get Sunday ticket for that for 300 bucks a year. You know, I mean, is it gonna? Do you know that were the details like you are you locked into a year at 25 bucks a month? Or? Yeah, well, no, none, none of the details are, are public right now. Nobody, it's just we know that it's coming out possibly in late July, and then there's speculation based on what the Yankees and, and Red Sox have done. So it'll probably follow those models, but yeah, there's no, there's no details about that yet. So, um, I just I was surprised at those price points. Um, I was thinking, you know. 15, 20, you know, maybe something like that. But the other, the one thing is, you know, Marquee, they've, you know, spent the last three years developing the full network. So it's not just, you're not just getting Cubs games. You're getting the full TV network too, is, is probably how they'll, they'll spin it. You know, the pre and post game shows and they have all sorts of other, other programming. Other uninteresting programming. Yeah, mostly. Well, I'm interesting to you. It, it would be interesting to Cubs fans. Eventually. But they also have partnerships with, I think, with the Big Ten. They might they they show all sorts of stuff in the off season too that you would be getting. But yeah, so I guess that's that's breaking news. Uh, there's a lot to be uh, fleshed out still on how the details are going to work. But that it's it's great that people in Chicago can actually watch the Cubs on any device they want now uh, without having to subscribe to a, a cable network which fewer and fewer people are doing these days. So it's, it's really a move towards the youth, you know, the, the, the younger generation than us uh, that are all cutting the cord, not interested in cable subscriptions, um, but it's getting the product. The, the product is now being getting available to anyone if they so choose. So 
I think it, I think it's a, a cool move. Um, I'm shooting the messenger. Uh, not a fan of Crane Kennedy, but at least he brought some interesting news to, to my Saturday morning. Word Hole Media.